Hi everyone! In this week's episode of Retro Crafts, we are going to be making these vintage inspired prize ribbons. And here are the supplies you will be needing some satin ribbon, cardstock, needle and thread, and glue. And clear embossing fluid, stamps, and embossing powder is totally optional. So, this is a prize ribbon I made for my niece. And to get started, I cut three different size circles out of cardstock, and the sizes are totally up to you, but you want them to be graduated. And I cut some ribbon out. Right now, I am actually going to emboss a word onto my center ribbon, and that's completely optional. If you have the supplies, you can go ahead and stamp a word or phrase or sentiment on your ribbon. I put amazing. And now I'm using gold embossing powder. And this kind of gives it that vintage prize ribbon look. But the ribbons look really cute without the words too. So if you don't have these supplies, do not worry. You can still make this project. I'm heating my embossing powder. And that's what that looks like. So to get started for the first rosette, I am taking this piece of ribbon, it's about 18 inches long, and I'm going to do a basting stitch on that. And a basting stitch is where you just put the needle in and out, in and out, on the edge. Make sure you tie a knot in the end of your thread. So you just keep basting, stitching it all the way down to the end. Once I got to the end, I took the needle from the one end and put it in the, the beginning end and I'm pulling it tight. And then I'm tying that in a knot. So you can see it kind of made a big ribbon poof, but we'll sort that out. So I'm just going to tie that in a knot and then cut my threads off. And that will just keep it secure and nice and ruffled. So then just try to even out the little ruffles like that. And then I'm going to glue that to my largest circle cardstock. And I'm using hot glue. And I'm just pressing it down. You can make as many layers as you want for your prize ribbon. I'm doing three for this one. So for my middle circle, I'm using this box pleated trim. And since it's already pleated, all I need to do is glue it around the edge of my circle. And it, it's already ruffled, so that's very handy. If you have any pleated trim, it's really easy to use for this project. And then I'm taking the middle circle and I am gluing it to my big circle. So that's easy enough. Now we're going to do one more layer for this ribbon. And we're going to do it the same way we did the, the first one, which is just to do a basting stitch down the length of a smaller piece of ribbon. I think this one is probably about 12 inches. And I'm just gathering it and tying a knot again, just like the first time. And I'm gluing that to the smallest circle. I just think the satin ribbon is so pretty and vintage looking. So now I'm gluing that smallest circle onto the middle circle and I have a really nice layered uh, base for my prize ribbon. I just cut out a little circle, put a number one on it, and I glued it to a button. So the button just gives the card stock some strength and I'm gluing that to the center. Now I'm putting a little ribbon hanger on the back so she can hang it up. And I'm gluing my long ribbons to the back. I'm sort of angling the two light pink ribbons. 
and then I'm putting the darker pink ribbon in the center. And then I'm just taking this rosette trim and gluing it to the back, but you could certainly use a circle of felt just to cover up all of that work we did on the back. And that's it. So you can get as creative as you want with this project. I hope it inspired you. Maybe you'll feel inspired to make one for someone special in your life. Happy holidays to all of you. Thanks for watching. Bye.